I know how tempting it is, guys. You just got that brand new shiny RTX card. And you see all the Twitch streamers using NVIDIA broadcast. Well, do not use it. Killing your stream. And I'm here today to show you guys why. In some of my testing, I found that NVIDIA broadcast can steal more than 30% of your GPU performance. That's literally like buying a 3070 and getting sent a 1660 Ti. I came across this problem the other night when I was trying to stream and my computer just completely shut off midstream. And it was causing so much stress that it caused my whole computer to blue screen. NVIDIA broadcast in the game I was playing was basically playing tug of war with my graphics card. So I did some testing and I recorded the results and I'm going to share that with all of you today. I spent a lot of hours doing all this testing for you guys today. So if you could like, comment, or smash that subscribe button, it would help me do more elaborate videos like this. Alright, so let's get into the testing. Okay, so first up we have Grand Theft Auto 5. I ran this at a 1440p resolution with ultra presets. I know a lot of Twitch streamers love to play on Grand Theft Auto 5's RP servers as it can be absolutely hilarious and can keep your watchers engaged. This game was perfect to showcase just how demanding NVIDIA broadcast can be on your computer. It has day and night cycles, water, foliage, and when you throw in the scene with the jet, it shows a huge range of maximum, average, and minimum FPS all in the same benchmark. And do keep in mind that I ran these benchmarks 10 times over the different categories. So I'll see you guys at the end of this benchmark so we can go over the results. So as you can see, from no NVIDIA broadcast to just basic noise suppression was an average drop of over 12%. When you add noise suppression and background blur, it more than doubles to 28%. And with noise suppression, background blur, and video noise reduction, it dropped to an outstanding 40%. Getting a 40% reduction in performance is like spending $1,500 on a computer and receiving a $500 computer. So I did some more testing on some more games and up next we have Forza Horizon 5. Running at 1440p on ultra presets. I picked Forza Horizon 5 for a reason. It is demanding. This game is absolutely stunning. And when you mix in all of the reflective surfaces on top of having to render massive distances at a time to keep the game looking seamless, it was an easy choice because when this game dips below 60 frames per second for even a fraction of a second, it is immediately noticeable. And when you add in other factors like the foliage, the weather, and other cars, it truly stresses your graphics card. This is exactly the type of game we should expect from everything releasing claiming to be a next-gen experience. So I'm going to go ahead and let this benchmark finish up and I'll see you at the results. Okay, so when you take the GTA 5 results into consideration, a 5% reduction from no NVIDIA broadcast to just noise suppression does not seem like a big deal. But going from no NVIDIA broadcast settings to noise suppression and background blur was a 30% drop in performance. And to make things worse, when you add in noise suppression, background blur, and video noise reduction, it overtakes Grand Theft Auto's throne at a whopping 42%. The last game I'm going to test is the reason I started this whole project, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. So I'm running this game at 1440p and again, max settings. So Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is a bit of a change of pace from the last two tests, but like I stated before, this is the reason I started this video. Within one day, it managed to crash my stream twice, and with NVIDIA broadcast running on my computer, I struggled to run this game at low settings and keep a decent frame rate. It was causing my stream to drop massive frames to the point I thought it was OBS, which made me lower my stream quality and frame rate. From no NVIDIA broadcast settings to just basic noise suppression was a reduction of 4% in performance. But when you add on background blur, in addition to basic noise suppression, it reduces performance by 18%. And with noise suppression, background blur, and video noise reduction, it reduced performance by another 11%, making a grand total of 
So when I first started streaming, I was using NVIDIA Broadcast every day. But the reason I didn't notice the performance issues was because I was playing on a console and I was passing through an HDMI capture card. If you're using NVIDIA Broadcast and you're gaming from that computer, you are losing so much performance, it is insane. And this video actually took me a lot longer to finish than I actually thought it was going to take. If you made it all the way to the end and you want to see more content just like this video right here, remember to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button because it's a free way to help me make more content for you guys. This is Frosty Adobe Man, and I'll see you guys next time.